But don't mind me. I'm just sitting here staring my ice cream. White chocolate. Homemade. Yeah, I just gotten in the habit of making homemade ice creams. Mm. Overall, it's cheaper than store bought ones, mostly just because I steal all the ingredients from work. And it lasts a lot longer, too. And I can choose some unique flavors that you don't always get in the store. Like, this one is white chocolate. Before, I made a lavender one. That was interesting. Didn't like it as much. I mean, I loved it at first bite, but I don't know if you notice how big this bowl is. It's like the size of my head. It, halfway through, I started getting really fucking tired of it. And it ended up sitting there for a few weeks. But then the bowl got empty and I realized I need ice cream in my freezer. And so I started making this. It still needs to freeze a little bit more. It's not 100% solid. It's a plasma right now. Very close. So what have I been doing with my life? Well, mostly I've just been sitting here trying to win, trying not to sin. High off weed and lots of gin. So, so much smoke weed, oxygen. Suddenly count them Benjamins. I'm just kidding. I kid. Honestly, first of all, I'm sorry to those loyal fans who actually do give a damn. Yes, I have been neglecting my channel. Honestly, like for me, it's not that I don't respect YouTube. It's just that it's never, ever been the number one priority in my life. It's fun, and I'd like to be on here more. It's just I have so much energy in my life, and I'd rather focus it on other prospects. And I have some, I have a lot of cooking videos that I did just because I've been working in restaurants too damn long. And so I've been making more food and I've recorded myself making some of this food. And I have a bunch of videos that are just sitting there and not getting edited. Uh, it is summertime so I'm doing WNBA Weekly on my sports channel. Uh, also, well, I, I'm starting my own business. That's right. It's, it's been a long road for me. I'm still not done chasing my dreams. And, well, before I tried twice in the past to do this, and the mistake that I made was I tried to get friends, you know, classmates that I met in college, people who were like-minded and was like, let's try to do this together, see if we can make some magic. And, you know, after two years of just constantly arguing over every little thing, Nothing happened, and so, you know, it, it, everything just keeps falling apart in the end, and I just gave up completely, decided, fuck it, let's just, let's just work for a while, save up some money, take some time to relax my brain, and hopefully I'll find the answer someday. And I'm not gonna lie, this past year, year and a half, been pretty fucking horrible dealt with a lot of depression, been especially suicidal. I mean, I have got out of my funk recently. It, it's still been kind of rough work, sometimes busy, sometimes not. Personal life never seems to be any good ever. But uh, yeah, I'm in a good place right now and I finally decided I'm going to try again and this time we're going to attempt it in a different way. I'm actually starting in my own business. I can't give you too many details other than that right now. There are a lot of kinks to still be worked out, but what I'm doing right now, I'm actually talking it with my boss at work. He owns the restaurant that I work at. And, you know, we're friends, so he's actually helping me. And, you know, I'm going to actually, like, fill out paperwork and shit to get, like, legally government recognized as a business. Get my own EIN, employer identification number. It's for, like, tax purposes, and you can use it to buy things wholesale and whatnot. There's, there's a lot going on, so not sure how long that process is going to take, but we are right now, like, putting together business plans and just, like, putting things out. And then, like, once I am an official business, and I'll even, like, talking to my bank about starting my own an, an account just for the business, possibly thinking about getting loans. I have multiple sources where I can get money from the bank itself, from my boss who said he'd be willing to fork over a small bit of money to help me get started. Uh, but you know, I'm, not, I'm not depending entirely on those. I do have enough saved up that I can do go a little bit on my own. Uh, not so much that, I mean, longevity would be an issue. 
I'll, but yeah, once I get the business officially started up, I'll actually, you know, I'll start hiring people that I can actually say, like, this is a job, you work for me, this is how I want this to get done, and we can start making things happen. And I want it to be a multimedia company, but we're going to start with print, just because, you know, when we looked at it, it just seems like print is the best way to make guaranteed money. Uh, just because when you work with like, like music and movies and, and all that other stuff, it's just, it's so, the market can be so up and down, it depends on what people want, what are they willing to pay for, and I know it's kind of the same with books, but with those it's easier to push out, it's, e it's, it's more controlled, it's, it's hard to explain really, long story short, we're starting with print media. I'm working on a comic book and multiple novels, including an autobiography, which I just started writing last week. And for now, I'm just got, I'm, I'm just writing down every memory that I have of my life. Like, and I, I, we, there's still a lot to figure out. It's, it's, it's just interesting when you think back to things about yourself that really stick out. Because first grade was one entire chapter all by itself. But then second and third grade were each one total paragraph. So, apparently I didn't care about anything that happened when I was eight or nine. Who knew? But yeah, so, a lot of stuff going on. You know, the autobiography, I've decided it's basically every... I'm just going to jot down every memory that I have up until now. Well, maybe not like right now, but basically like till the end of July up to the point that I decided, you know what, I'm tired I'm, of just sitting here hoping things will get better. Let's go, let's make this happen. I'm gonna start my own company and I'm gonna hire people and we're gonna do it my way instead of just hoping that other people feel the same as me and hoping that we can get, you know, make it work. I'm gonna tell people, no, you're going to work for me. You do it my way, I give you money. That's how it goes. So, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, I can't promise anything on here. I can't promise regular vlogging. I can't really, I can't make promises on this channel because it's all about just know how I feel at the time. Uh, the only, th the only thing I can promise is that, you know, when major things happen and I feel like getting it out, you know, I'll probably be, I'll, I'm more likely to just come on here and at least talk about it a little bit. So, yeah, all I can say is for now, wish me luck. It's the start of a new adventure, and hopefully the beginning of the end of my life. Yeah. That sounded a bit morbid coming from me, but I meant it in a good way. You know what, I'm gonna go, put, I'm gonna go eat my ice cream, then I'm gonna film a video for my sports channel. And then, I'm just gonna go to sleep, enjoy my night, and then tomorrow, I got a day off, I'm gonna try and get some variety done. So, until the next time you see me in a video, my name is Nathan Nile, and I hope you have a great week.